So I'm here with Helen Howard from Paramo, and I've been using Paramo for about a decade now. I've got loads of different bits of Paramo kit. Uh, so I wanted to talk to Helen about, first of all, their latest jacket, but also about Paramo as a whole, because it's a slightly unique clothing system isn't it? So oh yes absolutely it's completely different um, it doesn't rely on any uh, laminates or membranes or tape seams or anything like that um, the basis of how Paramo works is how mammals stay dry and how mammal fur um, moves water away from them so that they're not actually ending up being cold and wet um, so our Paramo uh, fabrics um, are actually uh, using Nikwax uh, technology Nikwax fabrics um, so you've got an outer layer it's made from polyester deflecting the wind and the rain and um, so it keeps you dry from the outside but the important part is actually the pump liner so that works by drawing both um, uh, perspiration that you generate as a uh, water vapour away from you and it literally moves it through and draws it away and out, away from you. But one of the major benefits is it actually moves liquid water as well. So rather than something that's going to condense on the inside of a conventional waterproof and then it, it's a barrier, it's not going to go anywhere, um, we can actually move uh, liquid water and so that moves away from, your, uh, the, from next to the skin. So therefore you're staying drier and therefore more comfortable when you stop you don't have that kind of cold clammy feeling that, that you can get where you know that you actually need to, to keep on going. So my first experience at Paramo I borrowed a jacket from somebody after forgetting mine on a trip and I got soaked in a rainstorm fleece uh, basically absolutely soaked and I put the Paramo on I thought well at least it's going to keep me warm and I realised about an hour and a half later two hours later not only was I now dry in the rain that was continuing my fleece was starting to dry or at least it was uh, damp <laughs> and I realised Actually, yeah, this is this coat is magic. <laughs> <laughs> it just sucks the water right from the body, and it's. It, I've, I've, I've never gone back to a normal yeah, membrane absolutely. fabric after that. It's, oh wow! It's, so everything I use at Paramo now for that reason, because once you experience that way, the water goes absolutely in one direction only. Yeah, and, and that's often how people come to Paramo. It's that word of mouth recommendation, or they can be in a, a walking group and they can see that one person is nice and warm and comfortable and dry, and they're a cold, wet, and miserable. And you kind of think maybe. Maybe I'll just have a chat with that person and, and Paramo is, is that word of mouth um, way people people hear about it. Um, a number of mountain rescue teams like yourself have, have worn Paramo and let's face it they're out in some pretty miserable weather and you want to be able to know that you can rely on that kit it's going to keep working regardless um, and it's easy to look after as well. Paramo um, can be looked after with Nick Wax aftercare so you can just throw it in the washing machine, um, run, it, run it through and rejuvenate that, that water um, <laughs> repellency that it, that it already has to it. It's uh, because the kit lasts for a long time and it hasn't got a you can, because it hasn't got a membrane, you can stitch it, can't you? Absolutely. You can stick pins all the way through this jacket, take those pins out, and you've still got a waterproof jacket. If you did that to a conventional waterproof, you've just wrecked it, and it's, it's not going to recover from that. So it's, it's the way the, uh, the fibres uh, and the material works together to make it a waterproof unit. It's not that there's any um, barrier that, that's going to be damaged or broken or fractured or ruptured that will then let water in. So it's, I, I, I evangelise about this. <laughs> It, it, this is not a, this is a really biased interview because I do love it but is are there some sort of maybe common mistakes people make with Paramo or assumptions that they make? But um, I don't, well, there are some things where people have um, been uh, so, um, for years and years, they've known that to, to look after their conventional waterproofs, they've been told to be very gentle towards it. And suggesting putting your waterproof in a, in a washing machine would be almost tantamount to saying, just throw it away and, and not use it again, because, you know, tape seams would come apart and you've got a waterproof that doesn't actually function. So there is a level of, of convincing people that actually Actually, by putting it in the washing machine and keeping it clean, looking after it the same way that you would look after a gym kit and, and wash it, you're going to get the best performance in that respect. So there is a little bit of, of uh, conversion in that sense. Um, but that's why um, we, we know that once someone t goes towards Paramo and, and wears it, you can't go back because you wouldn't suffer any other uh, waterproof way, uh, a waterproof system in the future. You wouldn't go back to conventional waterproofs. So it's uh, as long as you make sure you maintain it properly and you maintain it with, with the correct uh, reproofing agent. So it's Nikwax. Yes, that's Nikwax uh, waterproofing. So there's Nikwax Tech Wash um, that's used to, to clean it, and then every so often you would use uh, Nikwax TX Direct as well uh, to actually um, uh, replace uh, the, the DWR, the uh, durable water repellency that that will over time be 
lost. I mean, it can be a very different thing. Some people might find that they need to wash theirs more often than others, uh, depending on their amount of use, um, whether or not they're someone that perspires quite a lot, and you know, <laughs> or, or might, maybe actually they don't need to, to actually uh, reproof it nearly as often. But that's, you know, how long is a piece of string? But they know that they, they're not going to actually damage their garment by putting it in the washing machine. So it's an easy process. Yes, absolutely. So this is the um, Outer 3 jacket um, out in the last couple of weeks. Um, it is our new mountain jacket. Uh, this is the men's one. It, this is uh, something that you can use from valley right the way through to, to, the, um, to the top of the hill. Um, and it's very much designed for the walker in mind, whether it's uh, um, high-end, heavy-duty um, walking. Uh, you've got a map pocket here um, to put away. You've also got a fast access uh, pocket um, for you, save for the GPS or compass. Um, you've got the renowned excellent Paramo hood, which you can actually tuck it away into its own collar, but you can really adjust it around your face so that when the weather comes in, you can really batten down the hatches. Head. Exactly. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is look at the inside of a, a, hel a, 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 a hood when you're actually out. Uh, you want to be able to make sure that it moves with you. The other thing is we've got vents, um, so you can actually open up and get some air through to you. The idea with the Paramo jacket, you don't have to take it off when you get a bit too hot. You can roll up the sleeves, one of the first things we do. We've got nice wide cuffs to enable us to do that. Um, you've got the vents, you've got the two-way zip, absolutely. And you've got poppers behind, so rather than it flapping all around, you can actually popper it and still get some air through to you. So all in all, it's got all the features, even if they're tucked away, so you wouldn't actually know that they're there to, for a nice clean jacket. So waist drawer cord, for example, you can access through uh, through the pockets there. Um, and it, thinking about features so they're not going to aggravate you, nothing's going to get fly in the face um, when it's really windy, that it's just nice and clean. And how much would someone expect to pay for this in the UK? Uh, this is £280. Right. Um, and so the men's uh, Alta 2 is also joined sensibly by the ladies, um, sorry, Alta 3 jacket is joined by the ladies Alta 3 jacket. Um, and that's a slightly different um, fit. Um, it's a long jacket. Um, again, with all the features that you would expect to see um, on a good walking jacket, um, but with a different cut and nice shape to it as well, um, and a good length. Helen, thank you so much for your time today. It's been great to talk to you about Paramo, and I'm already sold on it, but hopefully you've sold a few more people on it as well. Oh, I hope so, yes, absolutely. Thank, thank you very, very much. much. Cheers.